Buonasera. What's going on? Ciao tutti. Super Jessico, checking in. Actually, we're doing a little bit more than checking in today. Welcome to Super Up, episode number one. Really excited about this, getting into it. Raw, uncut, real, no joke. Only the real deal here. Inspiration, motivation today, suave. And more importantly, Filippi. My boys up in Castelcerino, the coolest, a personal favorite of mine. Great zone up in Suave, Veneto, Italy. So today we're going to be uh, mashing up two great wines from uh, my boy Filippo Filippi. Chingon numero uno, my hoss. A lot of inspiration here. Uh, a lot of people really don't know much about Suave, apart that it was a flabby, everyday, misinterpreted wine. It's come a long way. We've got two great wines today. We've got the 2016 Castel Torino DOC, Coldi Scalagieri, so this is the, the classic zone. Castel Chirino is the, the highest altitude zone up in Suave. La zona più alta della zona. Another shout out to my boy Filippo Filippi. Paola, my girl, how you doing? Well, welcome to the program, episode number one. So we're, uh, we're doing this more or less... Uh, live i mean you know when you're seeing this it's already been done up um but i want to get down and nasty with it so we just want to have a little fun drink some wine today and uh get into it <clears throat> 2016 castel torino felipe 2016 vigna de la bra felipe these are both exclusively made with garganaga a lot of this Garganaga is quite old, and we're talking we're talking vines that are north of 80 years. I've spent a lot of time on this property in the vineyard, and there's some big ass vines, man. Pretty gnarly, pretty awesome. The uh, obviously the principal uh, principal grape here is Garganaga. La Garganaga, love the Garganaga, man. Um, there is quite a bit of uh, Turbiano di Suave that uh, Felipe uh, uses in. Uh, some of their wines as well, um, but we're gonna we're gonna get into uh, get into these wines a little bit. Um, Filippo's been uh, all about old school, traditional organics, biodynamics. Um, he's doing it up as natural as possible, uh, and you can definitely tell in, in 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 his wines. It's all about letting the vines speak, tear up the soil. The terroir is huge here. Uh, the Filippi property has both uh, white and black uh, volcanic rocks. La Tufa, La Tufa Nera, La Tufa Bianca. Um, they've got a, uh, a really nice uh, mineral, uh, mineral rich uh, fed, fed spring um, under, under, the, uh, under the vineyard as well. And there's actually caves down there too, man. And I know, I know my boy's gonna be doing something up uh, with that as well. Um, not sure if we can get into the color too much here but um i did open these wines last night and uh i just got excited um that's why i'm shooting the first episode here i'm like you know what we got to get into it it's the best way to get started i'm gonna get super up with super jessico um beautiful and these wines are even better today these are white wines that are just gonna go the distance can really age beautifully and gracefully First and foremost, minerality, man, salinity. You get this really pretty white flower on the nose. Stone fruits, you know, apricots, uh, persimmons, not like super, super ripe persimmons, but, you know, they, they, grow, they grow a lot of these fruits up in, uh, up in Veneto, so it kind of makes sense. That's salinity, man. That's salinity. Really, really pretty wine. Super, just kind of salivating here as I get into it. Mm. 
it's amazing how wine can be <clears throat> rich and fleshy, but also very lean, elegant, and mean at the same time. You kind of get that fleshiness of that that uh, somewhat ripe um, apricot. But it's all about that that rock. You definitely get rocks. Um, and the only way I can describe it is those those black and white batufa. <clears throat> That's what you get, man. Really, really nice wine. Um, delicious. Castelcerino, <clears throat> Filippi, Suave, Coliscalagieri. Shout out to my... Uh, Partners in Crime, Cream Wine Company. We uh, import and distribute this. This is the real deal, guys. You want Suave? You want gangster classic stuff? This is where it's at. Um, <clears throat> trying these two together is, is, is a lot of fun. And uh, I know I've repeated myself a couple, couple times, but that's the uh, inspiration for the uh, episode launch here. Um, color still, you know... A little bit, a little bit darker, a little more hues of that, that, that kind of that marigold, marigold yellow. Um, but Felipe Suaves are um, really, really pretty in color. Um, definitely not your, your typical uh, green, greenish um, suave. You got some nice, nice notes of marigold yellow. I just came up with that. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna stick with that. So let's get into the uh, Vigna de la Brat. Vigna de la Brat, also 2016. This wine's a baby, man. Uh, the whole story about Vigna de la Bra, this is a single vineyard. The uh, the Filippi uh, Colis Galagieri is sourced throughout their uh, <clears throat> property. Um, obviously, all estate fruit. Um, some of the, the newer, younger vines are going into the classic uh, Castel Cirino, but there's also some older vines in there, too. Um, Vigna de la Bra, we're talking vines. Um, man, I wouldn't say younger than 40, 50 years old. And these, this, this vineyard is where you get some of those 80-year-old wines and maybe even older, man. Some of those trunks, man, they were like, they were definitely bigger than my thighs. They were huge, gnarly, you know, producing that just really sexy, complex, garganaga fruit. Um, oh, man. Um, most importantly here, uh, Vigna de la Braz aged on the lees, the fine lees, for about 14 months. 14 months on the lees, man. <clears throat> so you would think you're going to get like a real rich and, and creamy style. Um, you know, a lot of the a lot of the suaves that are made today are kind of manipulated to be more like a, a Chardonnay for um, the American market, uh, the Western market, if you will. Um, but the, the, the lees that uh, my boy Filippo does up on, up on this, man, they're they're special. The nose right away, it's it's a little bit... <clears throat> it's a little bit heavier. It's a little bit more robust. You definitely get the a little bit of leasiness to it But you get this crazy spice man, it's like spicy basil white flowers um, I'm thinking like gardenia flowers and, and 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 basil with like cinnamon spice on top. It's really wild man Yellow fruits all day, you know, you still get a little bit of apricot that persimmon Maybe a little white peach, like unripe, sliced unripe, sliced unripe, nice. <laughs> mm. The weight, <clears throat> I think it's all about the weight in the vanilla bra. This is a beast right now. I mean, it's like, it's great on its own, but <clears throat> you're craving some food right now. Today we braised up a uh, pork shoulder, um, used a, uh, did a little salsa verde in there. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be mixing up with that, but um, these wines are definitely going to get paired up, um, <clears throat> which I think will be really nice with that, that gaminess of this uh, pork shoulder, local uh, Illinois um, pork, um, but the vino bra. Once again, that nice kind of, that rocky, flinty, um, that, just, that, it's all about the stones, man. <clears throat> the stones, you get that nice spicy notes from the, from that, kind of that, that basil flower thing going on. It's good stuff. It's really good.
holy shit, we're at 10 minutes. Um, should probably wrap this up, but um, just to get in a couple more things, man. <clears throat> Obviously, we're talking volcanic soil here. We're talking old lines. We're talking very, very high altitude. The highest uh, zone of, of production in uh, Suave. Uh, one of my personal favorite wines, regions, pretty much the whole the whole shebang. And um, really excited to uh, talk about it. And um, Super Jessica's uh, pretty supered up now on the, uh, the Felipe wines, as I've always been. Quick little story. Had my first Felipe wines back in 2007 at the winery. Randomly showed up there with some friends of mine while I was living in Venice. Met uh, met the Felipe brothers, um, Filippo and Alessandro. Um, had a great visit. Ended up going back a couple weeks later. Worked a few days of harvest. Beautiful re relationship came out of that. I went back the following year. Worked the harvest of 2008. Was at the winery for about three months. So... Passione, l'anima, soul, passion. Um, this is what it's about with uh, Felipe and the way all wine and pretty much all things that we consume should be about. Suave is uh, is definitely my jam. Um, if you see these wines in the market, definitely check them out. Ageable, very, very, very ageable too. In fact. Um, <clears throat> Got a few old uh, vintages over here. I drunk most of them, but here we go. Here's one for the ages. Vinny de Lebrun, 2008. I actually had a 2008. I want to say a couple years ago, and it was a lot of fun, man. It reminded me of like a cross between like a, a Chablis and an older uh, Riesling. It had so much cool stuff going on. Um, but yeah, this is uh, 2008 up in the cellar. It's kind of fun. Another special wine, Turbiana. That's what they call uh, Turbiano in the uh, local uh, dialect up there in uh, Suave. Uh, this is 100% Trebbiano di Suave. That's uh, 2012. I only got one each of these bottles, so we're just hanging on to these until I go see my boy Filippo. Um, miss you guys. We're going to come up there soon, hopefully. Speriamo ci vediamo presto. Siamo qui sempre in Chicago. Super Jessica. Filippi. All right, guys. Episode one. Thanks for tuning in. Please come back. There's going to be a lot more. And um, as always, uncut, raw. <clears throat> no bullshit. Um, just getting into it, having some fun. Gonna throw this up on YouTube and uh, obviously uh, Instagram, Facebook. But it's gonna probably. I think it's gonna be my first uh, my first YouTube video up on uh, Super Jessica. So I'm gonna put that link um, up on my post so you guys can uh, so you guys can check it out. All right, man. Chin chin, suave, Castelcherino, Felipe, Super Jessica. See you soon. A presto. Ciao.